Hello, this is Isaac. I'm creating this video to try and show you how to use Solver to solve for multiple variables using Excel Advanced 2007. The reason I'm doing this video is because my laptop is using Office 2010 and the exercises that I'm going to show you are based on Excel Advanced 2007. The exercise that I'm going to be working with is going to be a sample advertising Excel spreadsheet which has got two tables. The first table is called the media info with information about your newspaper, your radio and your television against the audiences, the cost per impression, my maximum uh, number of impressions. Against your second table which is your budget based on the number of impressions against newspaper, radio and television and your spending budget based on the total cost of a total goal of 27,500 against this audience reached which is 3.1 million. Now you're going to use solver utility to maximize the company's advertising expense which is this amount reaching an audience of about 2 million. This is your budget. You are budgeting 2, two million so you want solver to assist you resolve the problem against these three different uh, mediums right now let's go and act to the data tab to activate solver now you select the data tab and activate solver to open the solver parameter dialog box the solver parameter dialog box is now opened you're going to select cell number is E15 E15 is our actual budget click on the ellipsis there's your E15 okay you've just entered it in the what's name in the box now in the equal to area equal to area select minimum once you've selected a uh, min minimum to specify that you want to minimize the total spending the value in the set target cell set target cell is done so you are happy with that now in the by changing cell boxes you're going to select d14 to d so b14 to d14 in the so to make the solver change these values to find the optimal advertising spending for each medium let's go and do that let's make sure we select b14 there's our b14 to d14 and then click back on your ellipsis there's your b14 to d14 once you've entered them press your tab key you'll notice after you press your tab key it says number of impressions right then you add the constraint you'll specify the limitations for cell values based on your objective right now you've added the first constraint now you must go and select e16 this is your e16 click back your ellipsis the total audience that you want should be greater than or equal to 2 million 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 right and then click add you've added the second constraint right the the boxes in the add constraint dialog box are refreshed and the insertion point in this cell reference box now select your second constraint which is b 14 uh, is b b 14 to, to b 14 there's b 14 to d 14 click back the ellipsis it must be less than or equal to right less than or equal to go, go back to the ellipsis and select your range that you are targeting must be b 10 b 10 to, to d to d 10 click back your ellipsis now you've got your target audience against the existing budget and then you click add right lastly you select b14 which is b14 to d14 click back the ellipsis and then the integer integer what does that mean it means the number of impressions must be an integer you can't purchase a fraction of an ad 
So once you've done that, you click OK. Now, your solver parameters has got the number of impressions which is less than or equal to maximum impressions, the number of impressions which is in an integer, and the total audience is going to be 2 million. Once you are done, now you're going to click solve. Click solve. Why? To make the solver find a set of values for the number of impressions to minimize the cost. The solver results will come up once we press the solve click solve let's remove this and see what happens now your results let us look at the results we are more interested in the spending the newspaper spending number of impressions let's start with the number of impressions it is negative 95 radio is 20 television is is 30 look at your total it's minus 45 whereas the spending is less 9000 for newspaper radio is uh, three and a half thousand twenty two thousand your budget is now come to 16,500. The number of impressions for newspaper is negative, which can which can occur in real life. You can change an option to prevent this. You can change this option. Now we're going to go back and select restore to original values. Restore to original values to go back to our original figures when you click restore to original values everything goes back to original values but we're going to go back to solver click solver and select options the reason why we select options on solver is you'll ensure that the solver uses only positive values so in this window i'm going to have four options assume linear model use automatic scaling assume non-negative values we want non-negative values and then click OK to close the solver dialog box and return to the solver parameter dialog. Now, when you click solve to trick the solver to adjust the values, after a moment, the solver results will appear. Click solve. I'll remove this for a while so that we can see the results. Now, the results have changed. Now, you can see solver results. Verify and keep solver resolution solutions to select it now look at the impressions for newspaper it's 7 radio 20 and uh, television 18 your total now is positive look at the spending 700 for newspaper radio three and a half television look at the go the budget the budget is 17,700 and then your audience is 2 million looking at the reports you have to keep if you want to keep the sol the solver solution you can click OK. When you click OK, the adjusted values appear in your worksheet as permanent. Now you've got your 17,000 budget, uh, 17,700 budget, and then your 2 million uh, audience, and the numbers of the impressions uh, in the integers that are less than the corresponding maximum effective impressions. So there are your impressions, 7 impressions against the budget, 20 and 18 against that so it means your solver which is your 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 solver is now able to address your budget your budget issues having said that i hope you have enjoyed this exercise uh, to create and solve your two tool pack analysis using solver to solve multiple variables thank you